A term that we use frequently that is common to center point is a term called crosswalks. And crosswalks are cross references to disparate types of information within your site. To better explain what we're talking about, within particular sites, like for example this one uh, for a children's hospital, we may be looking up various departments and services by specialty. And within the specialty, we might look up one of these blood and marrow transplant, BMT. When bringing up this topic, blood and marrow transplantation, we have, of course, a description of the department, uh, how to get to the department, directions to the department, maps of the department, who maybe some of the specialists are, the actual caregivers, like Dr. Mark Walters. Uh, and so basically, everything relates to the specialty known as bone and marrow transplant. Now, this doctor, uh, Dr. Mark Walters, might belong to multiple other specialties besides just bone and marrow. He might deal with sickle cell disease. He might deal with a lot of other things. We might find this doctor under a number of other categories, but the goal is, is, is to convert your content to actionable knowledge so that when you put in your doctor or your event or your form, by tagging it appropriately, it might be tagged to multiple specialties, multiple conditions, so that wherever you happen to be, that doctor will show up. Or if you happen to go into cardiac uh, anesthesia, you will see different doctors in different lengths. So that, and of course, bring up this link might bring up uh, related links to fetal cardiology. So especially when it comes to scientific information, you see it very clearly. Uh, we'd like to discuss uh, taxonomy and crosswalks outside of this type of community and sites that we're all familiar with, like Amazon. Uh, when we look at a site like Amazon, you know, we're looking at products, we're looking at uh, videos, all sorts of crazy things. And I'm going to take a look at one of their products here, which is a Samsung Galaxy tablet. And this one product, you know, this product has a picture, this product has a price, uh, and a description. But this product also has a number of other things crosswalking or relating to it. For example, other pictures of the product. Perhaps we have videos of the product, uh, 3D, you know, explanations of the product, you know, and how beneficial this product is, uh, features and benefits, you know. And as we scroll down on this product, you'll see that we have other crosswalks. Here are similar products that are bought with this product. We may also show customers who purchase the Galaxy tablet also purchase these things here. So what we're doing here is we're actually showing a crosswalk of what's called feature guided collaborative filtering so that we're comparing the behavior of other members to the member at hand to suggest accurately what they might need. Uh, we might have related write-ups on the product, white papers on the product, uh, what other items do, uh, what, what other items do customers buy after viewing this item, Maybe what items have they added to the shopping cart before taking it out of the shopping cart. Um, also, one of the most popular ones are the related customer reviews. What are some of the comments related to this product? So as you can see, you know, the product in this catalog in and of itself is relatively simple. It's all of the crosswalks around it that we relate to that core product, which are the crosswalks. Other examples of this we will find in uh, Wikipedia, uh, where certain... Uh, records will bring up crosswalked and related information to the record and so this really converts it more from just a two-dimensional flat lookup of web pages to an interactive library where everything links to everything and it happens automatically and that of course occurs in the architecture and the design of Wikipedia or Amazon uh, or very large organizations we're proud to provide that same level of, of crosswalking and taxonomy within Central Point. And within Central Point, let me just show you a very simple and basic example. Here we're going to search for a physician in a directory. And this particular physician, based on his or her specialty, may summon certain related links like stomach cancer, uh, ultrasound, what can I do if I'm at risk for stomach cancer, so that so clearly this doctor has something to do with abdominal, stomach, uh, gastrointestinal type uh, issues. Now, to change that, and let me just show you how powerful Central Point is, if I were to, to go into where we have the record for the physician, in this case Dr. Ross, 
Dr. Ross has certain information associated with him that deals with stomach, digestive, and abdominal. If I were to change that to eye, vision, and let's say eyelid, and just and now it doesn't have to be that particular field. It could be any one of the fields that we are tracking for this particular doctor. Uh, the, so the crosswalks can be customized to pull from this field or that field. It doesn't really matter. So now that we're looking at Dr. Ross, let's refresh his page. And it's going to reload Dr. Ross's bio. And now we see at the bottom of his page we have links for vision, um, vision and speech, what do you do if you get something in your eye, that sort of thing. So one singular change to one value can automatically change these crosswalks just to help demonstrate how crosswalks work. So our objective is to go well beyond content management. Take a look at all of the types of content within your enterprise, properly categorize them so that your team can very easily manage one page here, one page there, yet all of these crosswalks will come together for the benefit of your constituents.